I have a prop in my hand this morning, courtesy of Ashley Farrar at Molly Maids. She and Allison Pryor and Ashlyn Fowler, who's in the studio, and I were all trying to think of the American Gothic painter who did the famous painting of the farmer and his wife, and I feel like I've got the pitchfork <laughs> right here. It was Grant Wood. Is that what we found out? Yep, that's what we've discovered. Allison Googled it. Good to see you. We haven't verified, though. <laughs> <laughs> I think we can trust Allison with her fact-finding. So good to see you, and you uh, had a great point that anybody who lives in a house should be responsible for helping to clean the house. Yes. But for all of you dads out there, especially the single dads out there, having Molly Mae come in to clean the house could be a nice treat. Right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, we'd make a great Father's Day gift. We've got that coming up. And I mean, if you just think about it, might not have the supplies, might not have the equipment. We bring all of that. Right. So all you have to do is call, we send the people, the stuff, and you just schedule a day and time and make it really easy. You know, it's funny, you would think that as often as you and I talk, eventually we would run out of things to discuss because how much, some people would think, how much could you really talk about cleaning? There's a lot you can say about cleaning because you're always doing it. So you mentioned the tools, right. that is a large part of your success rate, right? Absolutely. So what's the story on the broom I'm holding? I'll tell you, it's very light. Yeah, and there's a lot you can do with the broom, and it's more the pole than the actual broom because you can actually use this same pole, the bottom screws off, and you can put other attachments on oh, it. Okay. So it's kind of a one pole fits all type scenario. Right. But the broom you can do a lot with as far as like sweeping entryways. You know, you want to trap that pollen and trap that dirt before it gets into your house if you can. This is, I'll try to hold it and not take out the monitor behind me, but this is an <laughs> angled broom. Mm -hmm. So do you like that as opposed to one that's straight? Like I angled? do because you can get up under countertops and things with it, mm -hmm. with the angle to where, and not really have to think about angling it like you used to. You know yeah. how you used to have to get down under there? Uh -huh. If you get something with the angle, it kind of does that a little bit for you. Right. Do you so. have a, um, I have a broom that I keep in my garage for my back porch and my outside stuff, and then one that I do keep for my house. But we get a lot of little spider web things that just pop up overnight on our mm -hmm. outside porches. Does it, and sometimes they'll get stuck in the fibers of the broom, mm -hmm. the bristles. Is just pull them off? The best you can thing? just pull them off with your hand. If you've got some gardening gloves, that's a great idea because if I got you're those. working with spider webs, you never know if there's actually spiders in the spider webs when you're outside. Right. So anytime you can put gloves on, cleaning inside or outside, uh -huh. that's going to be a great idea. Now you mentioned how you can screw this off and put these little guys on. The one that you're pointing to now, isn't that the one that you like to use for ceiling fans? It is. It goes right over the blade. So you just, as you're high dusting, which you want to high dust first, Right. Because things are going to fall down onto the furniture that you, you know, are going to need to dust next. But yeah, this slides right over the blades. And then this one is great for corners, even doing like baseboards before you wet wash them. Mm -hmm. If you've got a lot of dog hair or cat hair or a lot of just dust on them, yeah. you can dust them with this first before you hand wipe them and wash them and just save a little bit of time and energy. So I have to tell you, I love how you talk so confidently about the one for the ceiling fan blades, because you should see me try to do it, especially in one of my children's bedrooms, because the minute you touch the ceiling fan, whoosh, it begins to spin. Mm -hmm. So then you have to get up on the bed and try to hold it still, and then you have to hear, gross mom, don't get the dirt on the bed. You know what I'm saying? I know exactly so what you're you saying. So how do you do it? Well, what would be a great idea is to put out just like a flat sheet first, so that you can catch some of that dust that's coming down. Mm -hmm. But if you're using a tool like this with the microfiber fibers in it, it should help trap some of it. But how do you get it on the blade? I mean, you have to somehow get up on a ladder, don't you, to get it on the blade? Oh, we put this on a pole. But the blade doesn't spin on you? You're good enough that you can make it? You have to You have to train know professional. Doing. No, but I mean, if you think that, Every house has four to five fans times five houses a day. Y'all know what you're doing. Times that many houses. You know, we really do know, you know, you can kind of, and even if you need to get your partner with one tall pole to steady the fan uh -huh. while you dust the fan, okay. it can be a two person thing. But See, it's a skill that's worth bragging right. on. Right. Like, we just do it, Julie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I know what you're going to tell me about your vacuum cleaner. And you're going to tell me that the key thing if you want to keep dust under control is empty your bag often. Is that Absolutely. right? Absolutely. You're going to lose suction once it's about 70% full. And the suction is really what's helping pull it out of the air and off of 
your carpets, off of your floors, and even off of like your baseboards and things. So if you want to use like the soft side of a bristle brush that mm -hmm. comes with your vacuum cleaner, this is great for baseboards. If you've got heavy dust, heavy pollen, this is great for screens, like on your window screens. Mm -hmm. This is great for those too, so oh, you're not having yeah. to like hand wipe them. You can vacuum them off because the pollen was really bad this year. Yeah. So having to hand wipe that, or even if going at it with a sprayer, mm -hmm. that's just going to make your windows dirtier. Right. So anytime you can, you know, suck it out and take it away, that's a good idea. I know that you have an awful lot of clients who use you even once a week, once a month, depending on what their needs are. And I know you can tailor it uh, for what you particularly have problematic spots at your house. But if somebody just wants to use you for those deep cleans, how often should they have their house deep cleaned? Twice a year? I say quarterly, okay. just because we have so many seasons here in the South. Like we've definitely got pollen season, we've got summer where your kids are in and out. Then we've got the fall season where you've got all the crunchy leaves and the dirt. And then there's winter where we're bringing in all the, uh, I call it the snow snot, mm -hmm. but it's the salt that you're putting on right. you know, your sidewalks and things. So deep cleaning, I would say quarterly, but you need to be maintaining your house on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. So pick a chore or pick a room or pick a level to do every week and make it not so overwhelming. And if you're doing that, you are holding on to the value of your house, right? Because like with the blinds you mentioned, if they get too much crud on them, you really can't get that off, can you? You really can't, especially if it's um, nicotine based oh. or, you know, because some people still smoke inside their homes. Mm -hmm. So there's all kinds of factors. If you've got a really humid home, you know, a lot of homes hold moisture in them, that's going to make your dust, your cat hair, whatever's in the air stick more to your blinds, to your baseboards, to your woodwork. So changing your filters, getting a dehumidifier, there's a lot of different things you can help to maintain that level of clean air. Right. So this poofy one here is what you said is great for uh, to wet it and then use it for pet hair? Well, you're not going to want to wet this, but you can use this just for pet hair. The microfiber okay. in it will help trap the pet hair. So no water needed. Okay. Things like things with microfiber don't generally need to be wet unless you're using like a sanitizing solution on it. Okay. But for dusting and whatnot, you, you really don't have to wet these at all. Okay. That's the trick of the microfiber is it grabs and it holds on to it. Okay. So uh, if you want to schedule an appointment to have Ashley or her crew come out and clean your house for you, then you can sit back and just say, oop, Get that corner up there and see <laughs> how they <laughs> see how they do the ceiling fan. That would be great. It really is a great idea too. Uh, if you know a dad out there who's kind of in charge of the household, give him a break as well. And I also should mention we don't always have time, but we do this morning. How embedded y'all are in the community, always giving back. I know that the Chamblin Center for Children near and dear to your heart. So. It really is. The Miss Molly Foundation supports them every year, and if they have projects we like to help out. So. But they are a wonderful organization for our community and I think one of the oldest ones in Chattanooga too. I, every time so. I think I know their age, I find out that I'm off by about five years, but right. more than 130 years, I do know that. Right, yeah, yeah. it's pretty impressive. A and their new time. building is beautiful. beautiful. Yep, absolutely. So. Okay, I feel comfortable with the prop in my hand, so thank you for bringing <laughs> it to me. Molly Maid, here's the information for you to contact them online. It's easy, mollymaid.com and the phone number 892 Maid. You'll have a team ready uh, to schedule your appointment and get your house spick and span. Thank you. Thank you.